Hi, my name is Jim McLaren. Today is Friday, January the 10th, 2020. Today we're going to look at this ground fault circuit interrupter. Bought on Canadian Tire, 2799 That's the Canadian price. And it's got some nice features to it. It's got an LED light guide, so there's two LED lights on it. And it's got an uh, indicating light on here. And it's got, uh, even comes with its own plate. I almost picked up a plate and realized that there's a ball plate included with this Levington one. And on the back it shows the different instructions here. So we'll open this up today. It's tough plastic. I had the scissors, but the scissors are not the best. So a crusty old knife here. We took it out with the knife there. Comes with a plate. Comes with instructions. Lots of instructions. It's got the information on here on the plug itself, and it's got the instruction in here, French and in English. Quite a bit of information in here. They talk about all the information, the line, the load. Lots of good instructions here. Shows your wire, wiring diagram, how to wire it, and basic features. It comes with a plate, so you don't have to buy a plate. So we're going to install this today. And this is just a protection for the load. So the line goes here, the load goes here. Add another wire to it. Just take this tape off here. It's got a ground screw on it. It's got the screws to hold it into the junction box or the, the box. We will install it. So this is your 14-2 wire coming in to your new GFCI. Ground fault circuit interrupter plug. So you've got your black wire, and you've got your white wire, and your ground wire. Your black wire comes to the, the brass side. The white wire goes to the silver side. On the line side, make sure it's on the line side. It will not work. Now, if you're going to put another receptacle on the load side, move that sticker on the back of that plug. And uh, then you run your white and your black wire from the load and go back to the receptacle and white to the receptacle and then the receptacle these are your brass screws here to the brass ones that's where your black wire goes and these are the silver ones that's where your your white wire goes and don't forget to ground your 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 outlet to the box of the unit so goes to the box and then goes to the ground same thing on the uh, GFCI plug. So there's the back of the breaker. Now I'm going to put, there's another receptacle I'm going to put on this. So this is the line. This is where the main line goes in. And you got two screws. You got a brass screw. And I'm open them up here because I'm going to be using them today. And there's a screw on the top. There's a crown screw that we're going to be using too. Now we're going to be hooking up a second receptacle. So we'll take this tape off. So that's the line. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a line here, here, and load. 
So we're putting this on. Now I already have the old one here. And we're gonna take the old plate off. You know, we can take the power off, but I'm not sure what breaker it's on. I got the breakers numbered here on the back of the plate here. So it's breaker number eight. And since we're going to be putting this back on, I'm going to put breaker number eight on this back of this new plate. So I'll mark breaker number eight. So we got a tester here and I'm going to put it in. Tells you it's wired right, and we'll shut the power off. Make sure that the power's off here. It's so my panel, so breaker eight, two, four, six, eight. Shut the power off, number eight. Now it's hard to see, so we're gonna make sure that it's off. We're gonna back upstairs. So it's more confusing than it looks. This old style GFI plug. Uh, did not have screws attached to them, so you had to use Mars to connect your wires in on the On the unit itself. It's got load here, and it's got line here So these two are the line coming in. And this is the load and then you've got the uh, green wire connected to the uh, grounded so we're gonna disconnect this but we're gonna leave the the uh, these Mars on the one on the line, so I know which one is the line. It's in the bottom, I can see in the bottom here. But, so we take the load off first. And uh, the load is this one here, the white wire. So we remove the Mar, just disconnect it here. So that's one of the load, the white wire coming from the load, the black wire now. Going to the from the load going to the there's another plug on in this, in this bathroom that feeds on the other side. So this is the load. So we can just disconnect these two wires and then uh, can disconnect the, the ground wire. I'm just gonna connect the little wire from here to that mar, the green wire. It's easier to try to fish out all these wires here, the ground wires. So we got disconnected the load, we got the the wires disconnected from the, the ground wire and we're just going to connect the, the line or the, the feed that comes in this unit. So I'm going to disconnect it, but I can leave the mar on it so I know which one it is. These are twisted on good too. So I'm just going to leave the mar on it so I know that's the line coming in. Same with this. Disconnect unit here. And I know that this is the live close to the line of the new plug. So this feeds off into a, another plug and I'm going to have to set these wires up here. First thing I'm going to do is going to put small copper wire here, twist them together, connect to the ground here. I just twisted all the copper wires together and to mark them. And I'll hook that to the copper wire in this. 
twist these wires to make a hook because they're going to go on screws now. That's going to go to the load. So this switch now goes to the other receptacle. So we're going to go on the load side. This is the load side. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hands over me here. It's the load side, and uh, it's next to the ground screw. So we can hook these on, and just hook them the same way. You turn the screw. So tighten that black wire on the load, tighten that, the white wire goes on the opposite side here, and the same thing. You tighten the wire, the way, same way the screw turns, so it tightens on itself. That's done. We'll hook up that letter wires. So we know this is the, the power coming in. So it's got to go to the line. Black goes to the, the brass screw. The white goes to the silver screw. And then this is the line. This is the load. So this feeds it to the next receptacle. Grounds is hooked up. We'll hook up the ground last. We take this off. Take this off. We know now that the other ones are connected. So now we know it, these are the lines that we want. We're going to twist these so they go around the, the screws. So got the white wire connected and the screw wire goes the same. When the screw tight, that tightens the wire inside here. Look at the blast screw. We'll just tighten this down. Now we have to do is just connect the ground and then put it together. So finish connect the ground screw to the mar. Just tighten that down. And it goes the same way screw does, it'll tighten the wire the same way. Now I got the bolt, all these screws tightened in here, now I'm just going to put the whole thing inside here. Tighten it up. So it's totally different from the last GFI. I'm just going to tighten this up and then we'll show you after we get the power back on. Let's put the plate back on. As I said, it comes with a plate. And we'll put the power back on. Power back on. Power's back on. Power back on. You can see the indicating light here. And just plug it in. We've got power and it shows that it's powered right. And it also controls this one. And that's controlled. And that's wired right. And it also controls the lights from above here. So now there's a Little indicating light here. You see the lights come on? So when it gets dark at night, that little LED lights will come on at night. And uh, we want to test it here. We want to test it here. It shuts off the power there. 
shifts the power here and it shifts the power to the light too. I'll reset it. Let's reset here. Hit the reset. Here you go. Lights are back on. Lights are all up here. So we tested the, the circuit. It's wired right. And uh, at night these will come on when the senses it. It's got to be dark. It's too, too light now. There it comes. The lights are coming on now. That sends it night. has a potter indicator. has a reset and a test switch. I thank like all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. If you watch this for the first time today, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video today. Have a great day. I plugged and there's night light on here. Two LED lights. That shines nice.